Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we have a fabulous guest with us. Hey, Nick. Hello, I'm Nick, one of the developers here at Bywater. This week we are going to talk to you all about cron jobs. We had a great suggestion come in from one of our partners asking if we could just walk through the basics of what a cron job is and what it does in the Koha system. So we've invited Nick here to Monday Minutes to talk to us just about what a cron job is and what it does in Koha. So take it away, Nick. Uh, so cron jobs are just kind of background tasks that you ask the Koha server to do so you don't have to do things. Um, it takes care of a lot of, of automating a lot of the things um, that you know you need to do on a regular basis, like uh, canceling expired holds when patrons don't want them anymore or don't need them anymore. Um, running your, sending out your overdue notices, kind of all of the things that you need to do to keep your system healthy, but is a lot of work for someone to do. So we set up the jobs on the server. Um, we tell the server, do these every night, and then we can either report back the results or just make sure that everything is getting done. So in the short term of things, cron jobs save you lots and lots of time. A lot of manual processes are not done by you all. They're done by the cron jobs. All right, Kelly, show us some, yep. some preferences that tie into this. So you may have come across this when you are in your admin system preferences when it says this does require a cron job. So I'm just going to search the system preferences for cron and you can see a lot of the system preferences that you may not know about or you're looking at maybe using, you will see if a cron job needs to be turned on, it will put that in the note. So we have purge suggestions older than. Um, we did a Monday Minutes on Haya, so those usage statistics needed a cron job to turn on. There's your long overdue processes, so Koha can automatically mark things lost when they're overdue by a certain amount of, of time. Fines run on a cron job. Holds, as um, Nick said, your canceled holds. Another big important system preference is, is Koha can log your crons. So if you're ever wondering if your crons are on or if they ran, you can, if you have your logging turned on, cron job log, you can actually see your cron jobs logged. So I can head over there now if you want. But if you're ever curious, there's, there's a lot that runs on a cron job. So pretty, it's pretty incredible. Now, not all the cron jobs are listed in the system preferences too, though. There are special ones that we can set up for you. Um, a lot of libraries, they have reports that they want to see the results of every day, but they don't want to have to go in and run the report and download it. So we have a run report cron job, and we can just automate that to send you um, report results every day. Mm -hmm. And something like your cleanup database is set up by default, and not something you're going to do through system preferences, but is done automatically. So I'm going to just click my module as cron jobs and I'll do a, <clears throat> a little bit of a date range here because it's just a test site so we're not sure what we're really running here. Um, so you can see the date that it was a cron job and when it ran. So you can see there's my holds queue which is a cron job. There's my finds, canceled holds expired. So we do get to see, there's my cleanup database, some holds, some crons that are listed and that are run. Of course, my system's not running all of them, but we will put a list in the blog post of what does show up here. Automatic renewals. This is fantastic. We'll link to, we actually have some blog posts and, and even Monday Minutes where we've talked about cron jobs, how to run reports as cron jobs, and we'll put those in the blog post link in case you're interested. Yeah, and if you have any questions about the cron jobs on your system, we'd be happy to help if you're one of our partners. All right, excellent. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're very welcome. Fantastic, fantastic, and have a great week. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.